Hello everybody, back here for my first episode of living at the farm with my father. And this ought to be interesting. I'm down here getting the house semi ready to bring him back down. He moved to town, I don't know, a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago. And now I'm back down here to go ahead and give it a shot. We got, you can see there's bad steps and stuff here. Kind of an area that goes down to the basement. It's kind of a weird little deal. The trap door has never been redone when he put a new foundation underneath the house. But some of the stuff I'll work on that as time comes. Beautiful old door right here. Um, there's a lot of just clutter and stuff. He gotten kind of bad. We didn't know how bad he was getting with his pain and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of things kind of falling off. Nobody's been down to kind of help him clean up and kind of pick up things and organize stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a general once over here. Then as time goes, I can hopefully find a few new things to kind of clean this place up a little bit and give him a new table and that kind of stuff. But this is the old pantry that's actually a beautiful little pantry room. Nice size and all that good stuff. There used to be a really beautiful little cabinet on the left-hand side here. It had a um, flower sifter and all that stuff in there, but it doesn't seem to be here anymore, so I don't know what happened to it. Sadly, it was a beautiful piece. Um, probably worth some money to a collector, but oh well. Gone now, so apparently don't matter. The walls and stuff are cracked really bad. When they jacked the house up to put the whole new basement underneath it, there's a lot of damage to the plaster, lava and plaster type design. The paneling here, um, although dated and all that kind of stuff, it seemed to hold up pretty good through all that. I think all the plates and everything actually stayed on the wall in the move. You can see here where one of the panels has popped out. Just kind of something I'll work on, get some and construction adhesive and that in there. I also want to look at maybe getting a new refrigerator, at least getting this thing cleaned up really good. There's some, well, let's knock this church key off there. But there's some good mold growing on it. Not a big fan of that idea, but there's, you can see some real disgusting spots here. Get that all cleaned up, but that's going to be as I go, not that big a deal, but it's just one of those things that kind of sucks. This refrigerator is, I'm sure, older than I am. It does keep stuff cold, though. Uh, I need to get cleaned out. There's a lot of condiments in here that are really old, a lot of stuff that some old food needs to be thrown away and cleaned out. The freezer's looking good. Everything seems to be still frozen pretty well. I was excited about that. Um, really just, I don't know, just a lot of general cleaning. It's got the single sink, which sucks. Um, all of our beer bottles from last time. Somebody spent the night down here. They're spread out all over the house. I picked them up, at least put them in the sink. The um, coffee pot, nobody bothered to empty before they left. And there's mold growing in it, so no more in coffee pots cost. I'll probably just buy a new coffee pot. Old stove, um, gas-fired stove. Haven't tried to turn it on yet, but I assume it still works. Um, I assume the gas is still hooked up. Yep, gas is still hooked up, so good to go there. Um, happy that's still going. Um, bathroom in here. I'm not even sure if there's a light in here somewhere. I know there's a light. Where's the switch? Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's one of the old switches that actually runs back and forth sideways instead of up and down. Kind of a neat little design. Some nice woodwork in here. It's got tons of paint on it. it needs to be redone. Just the shower curtain hung around the um, the tub. Built-in tub. Not a big deal. Um, different sink. I don't remember that being there before, but that's been upgraded a little bit. It's got a kitchen faucet on it, which is kind of nice. It's got a fairly wide sink here for a bathroom. Pretty tall. Definitely a nice little thing. Um, medicine cabinet with just general nothing major in it. Looks like some really outdated um, ibuprofen panel in there. But old windows, nothing major. Just everything kind of needs to be cleaned up. A lot of cracked glass. Might be able to get it replaced. Really junky old toilet that I'm not a fan of. I like the oval toilets. These are the round ones. So no more toilet cost. I might also get that replaced just because I want to get him a raised, like more of a handicap and easy set stool. Won't be that big a deal to do. The um, air vents and stuff for the hot air, um, the boiler system we've got, a gas forced air and also a wood fired forced air both, which is nice. I'm planning on, if I'm down here, if he's still kicking this winter, I'm going to run wood stove for a while at least and then go from there and switch over to gas as needed. We've got the first main bedroom here. Got all the guns out of the house. They all got moved into town and that. Not really a big deal. Just kind of, we thought with the house being abandoned, nobody around. We didn't want the guns left down here. Just, you can see everything's just kind of cluttered. There's just a lot of stuff on the floor, not easy to get a walker through, not easy to do a lot of that, which right now he's not using a walker, but as time goes, he'll need to be using a walker more. And we have the main, the dining room here. It's got the little window air conditioner. I just turned it on a little bit ago. to let the humidity come out of the house. It's not really that hot in here, but there's a lot of humidity. Hopefully it'll pull some of the humidity out tonight. Um, the picture of the dogs up there, I don't remember if that's actually his dogs or if that's a picture frame, I think I may have found him with the dogs in it. 
and they kind of looked like his dogs. I think it's how I end up buying that for him. But to be completely honest with you, I don't know if that's where it came from or not, so I have to ask him if that's what it is or not. This is the old chimney that would have ran from up through. It got tore out, was never covered up, never replaced. There's a big hump in the floor right here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I might pull the carpet out or look from the basement see if I can see what's going on. His old pegboard and that, just general stuff. Some Hooters calendars. He's got, looks like three years where the Hooters calendars over there. Kind of really interesting. Um, I realized that his DirecTV is actually still on. It's supposed to have been turned off a while back, but it's still on. So we got to find out what's going on there. Um, I'm going to get internet hooked up because I'm going to want internet down here so I can upload like these videos and other videos and get on YouTube and all that good stuff. There's the old chair and that, no big deal. I guess more Hooters um, calendars and that. Um, international, internationally famous, I guess. Not sure who that is exactly, but anyway. Um, old, like kind of a modern old China hutch, whatever, not a big deal. You can see in the corners, a lot of cracks over there from where the house was picked up and moved. Unfortunately, when you move a house of this age, you're gonna have that problem. It's gonna definitely happen. He wants this exerciser out of here. We have a dehumidifier here, which I'm gonna try and find extension cord to get it plugged in and get it running. I wanna let it run all night tonight too, at least pull out a few pints of water. I don't have a drain hooked up to it, so it's only gonna be wherever it fills up. But the more humidity we can get out, the better off I'm gonna be. The house has a bit of a weird shut up smell from being closed up, nobody living here for the last couple weeks. Um, some old kids toys, some old shelves, some really old weird stuff in here. Tools, washer and dryer, really nice washer and dryer. Although the um, washer, I believe it is, keeps throwing the breaker, so we've got an extension cord running to it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go down and figure that out, but that's down the road, not as important deal right now. Um, dryer vent just runs out here across the wall, comes out and in the vacuum behind you if you can really see it back there or not. This is the other door that used to be a window, became a door. This is the main door he likes to use. Um, it just has the stairs, goes out. You can pull the car right up there next to it. Works out pretty good there. So the deck's not, it's surprisingly, it's, it's solid stuff. It's got kind of just the old wrought iron piping and stuff here. I might put a coat of paint on that. Um, I'm assuming he just hung his clothes out here as a clothes dryer. Plus it's a little bit of a railing. I'll probably get a better railing built just in case he does come out here and stumble and kind of slip or something out wanting falling off of there. The stairs aren't too bad, but there's like really big washouts and stuff over there that I've got to get filled in with some dirt just because it's just going to be that much easier getting him in and out of here. And especially when I'm putting him on a walker slash wheelchair eventually, I'm going to have to get that much better condition before I can be wheeling him in and out of here, assuming he wants to stay here. So he talked about going to a nursing home, but the look of this place, I think I can get some stuff done in here to get it available for him to stay here a while at least. So... And if nothing else, I gotta get this place cleaned up anyway because we gotta sell this place so he can pay for a nursing home because the state won't pick it up until he sells off all his property. So, and right here we just have one of the bedrooms. He had these two rooms built on years ago, um, added on to the house. I think he should have put on a master bedroom, master bath, and left the other two bedrooms for the kids, but he didn't do that. He built these on for the kids. And they're nice rooms, or I don't know, pretty good size. I mean, it's like 10 by 12, maybe something like that. Real nice size rooms, a little kind of a walk-through closet in them. Nothing major, but it's just full of just stuff. People just leave their things around. He never made them take their stuff. There's sleeping bags and boots and shoes and old books and old DVDs and an old computer I don't think works and pegboard and just a lot of stuff that I'm not going to be able to handle living here if this stuff is all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and have to get something cleaned up. There's a mouse trap down in there. I did trip because I didn't want my dog getting his nose in there. My dog's going to be down here living with me too with him in the process. Well, I shouldn't say really living. We're going to be staying out here overnight and going back to my place in a day and that kind of thing and kind of helping out wherever I need to, wherever he's wanting help. So that's what we got right now. Um, I don't really like the layout, a lot of stuff, but all the, like I said, all the stuff can get moved once I'm down here, kind of let him have his input into what it is. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a general outlook. I love this window right here, but it's got this great little shelf. It's always been here forever since we, since dad were at the house back when Lola had it, all that. Beautiful little shelf, great for plants. I'm probably gonna bring down some of my plants. Nice little wait, you know, nice little window there, lots of sunlight in that. So definitely looking forward to having more of my plants come back in here with me. It's got dual thermostats, one for the wood stove, one for the gas furnace. So that works out real well. Just a lot of just like still the carpet just got wrinkles and stuff in it and that. Right now it's not really a tripping hazard, but it might become one down the road. We gotta definitely look into all that good stuff. So now I'm gonna take you down to the basement. There is an outside entrance, but we're gonna go down here through the basement from the main part of the house down to it and there used to be a deep freeze it was set right here on this shelf it's not here clearly now and these stairs are kind of 
they're solid, but there's no railing. It's kind of an awkward angle and stuff. I brought my dog down it earlier. He got down him a little bit. He kind of didn't like it, but going back up, he really freaked out. And I'll tell you why, because when you look through the stairs, you can see through it into like a little closet area down below. And that scared the bejesus out of that poor boy. He was definitely not liking that at all. Again, insulated, but it's just paper face backing. There's no paneling, no drywall, no nothing on it. And now we're down in the main basement. There's a bucket there of something. I don't know what it is. Unfortunately, my dog tried to drink out of it for a second and it kind of freaked me out. But I gotta get that cleaned up before I bring him back down here again. Really beautiful old freezer. I love this deep freeze. This thing is absolutely amazing. I've loved this thing forever. It's been around for ages and ages. It works great. But just random ladders, random stuff. It's just, everything's on the floor. Just like, it's just a mess in there. There's a bed that's never been made up. It's kind of laid out. I have no idea who was staying down here, what was going on. Um, I might stay down here. I don't know. There's a lot of just exposed wires and stuff. There's a pull chain I just noticed. Yeah, there's a pull chain down here. A lot of unfaced um, insulation down here. Not just, I don't know. There's a lot of little things that a guy could do and kind of help upgrade this place a little bit. Rickety us, um, fold out bed. Don't know much about. A lot of exposed wires. I think they're going to wall off some rooms. Never got done. A lot of it is the fact that he was planning on doing a lot of the work himself to save the money because he doesn't have much money at all. And he just, with his help like it was, he never fully he's always like he's he always felt like he was in pain he didn't really know what was going on in that good stuff so he wasn't able to do a lot of it and unfortunately nobody else ever came down to offer to help out in that before him and i we had a falling out years ago he kind of never talked to me in that stuff so i wasn't down here every time he would call and ask for help i would be down right away to help him but he never called very often like i'd help him dig out the septic system to work on it but then he never called me to help build walls and stuff so just kind of did what i could do but like you can see it's just I actually can't see much. It's just a cluster of nothing was ever moved out of the way. So this is going to be a good couple, three months probably of just picking up stuff. But the bed's part's going to be, I'm going to go upstairs, ask him, is this junk? Is this keep? Is this throw away? Is this junk? Is this keep? Is this throw away? So it's going to be a lot of that just back and forth. I might go get him down here to help me sort through some stuff where he's down here and saving the trips up and back. But who knows? So a lot of exposed wires, open wires kind of freaking me out. I don't know if it's hooked anything so i'm gonna bring my wire tester down before i let my dog run around down here by himself too so just like random old stuff i have no clue what all is here looks like an old fish tank over there he used to really like his fish tanks i might set a fish tank up for him again give him a little something to look at besides just the stupid tv shows so this is what would be a garage if you ever finish the house the outside door comes in a um, little window there garage door it looks unfortunately like it's a little the smallest garage door they make i would have put a wider one on there but i didn't have a choice that's what we end up with a little kind of a junkier table saw it's like a skill saw maybe i don't know exactly what brand it is maybe it's a craftsman nothing major just a nice decent saw a couple shop lights a couple nice chainsaws he always kept good chainsaws he burned wood forever um the wood splitter log splitter whatever it works fine but the governor was bad so it never really sped up so it's kind of hard to split big logs so it's kind of pain in the butt there my grandfather's old four-wheeler that my dad bought from him years ago and the brakes and stuff last i knew didn't work on it at all like they barely would stop you so you start pulling log splitter down to the timber it gets even scarier but that'll probably get used a lot pulling some dirt around here and trying to fill in like those dirt holes and that kind of thing and an old cabinet and just like wow i did not ever notice that that's like a giant air gap right there where spiders are crawling right through that so i might have to see about trying to get that sealed up and stuff and He's got a nice insulated door, which is great, except he has big giant gaps on the sides. So um, the guy that done this work here that did the extension was not a very good carpenter, I don't think, either. So it was one of those itch situations that he was a friend of a friend kind of thing. He's known him forever, and you can see there's a lot of exposed concrete right there that I'm not a big fan of that that was that was way too dry, clearly. It's shoveled in a couple shovels of rock, and of course it's right by a door seam, so it's not very secure there. But what can you do at this point? It's over done with, so... Get a couple coats of paint on it maybe some copper piping um radial arm saw i might get that set up to help kind of build some different things for him maybe in a ramp or something like that but just a lot of a lot of junk down here that i'm gonna have to go through and rework i guess in the process of getting it all figured out and that so oh it's nice there is actually a light switch here i saw there's one by the door there's one here too so that's kind of nice but he's got a lot of random tools but nothing's in order i don't know how i'm gonna find anything to work on stuff so it's gonna be a lot of just you know getting the upstairs where i mostly got to focus all my energy on getting that upstairs cleaned up as best i can and 
that's nice that door doesn't even latch so i guess i'll work on that door too so why it's used having a door with the handle if it doesn't latch but anyway who knows like i said i don't blame him that much on it because his health got bad on him and he was having a hard time doing anything and just kind of keeping himself alive kind of deal so we do have two hot water heaters which is kind of ironic the way it comes in one of them runs off the wood stove one of them runs off i believe it's gas i believe there's no chimney so it must be electric but anyway um he has a backup kind of angle. that's actually a gas with no chimney so i gotta find out what to deal with that so because that is clearly a gas water heater with no chimney hooked up that's gonna be kind of fun but i guess i might be cutting a hole in the concrete wall to put a chimney out but anyway i'll work on that at a later date not a big deal um that one is electric so i wonder if he's running that one right now so but i know he had ability to run it off of the wood stove i don't know if he ever actually hooked that up or not but we'll see when i get down here and start messing with it so i'm gonna go upstairs and turn on the hot water here and make sure i have hot water because i do not want to be moved down here without hot water and i have what looks like an open pit um i have no clue what the hell it's gonna be i guess that'd be where you put a sump pump but i don't see a sump pump in there so gotta get that covered up before i bring my dog down here again and figure that out so anyway um that's pretty much the house i guess so I'll shoot the outside when I get back up there in a second. Here's the follow-up video of the outside of the house. You can see it's got a new tin roof. Um, the old gutters that are kind of, I don't know, they're not really tied in well, I don't think, to where they should be. But the original house is the wood part right here. And then they had built on this back kitchen area, uh, back porch area years ago. No bark! Bruce! So he built that part on there, and then he's put this whole new um, basement underneath. The whole finished basement, or non-finished basement, is underneath the house there. Um, the window, that's the one I told you had that nice plant uh, shelf on it. So we're bringing some plants down here in that. Um, little tiny air conditioner that's the only air conditioner in the whole house at the moment. I think he said he has another one somewhere, but I don't know where it's at, so we're going to have to look into getting it. He wants to buy a new one, possibly, that has the digital control, so you can set it at like 77 or 75 or whatever. Ignore it. Um, it's got a bunch of mold on the siding. This is the new part he had built on. There was a front porch off the front of this, and he had this all put on. This is the two bedrooms up front he had put on. He also had the concrete work here. You can see this is also where it was way too dry, clearly. Shovels of concrete. i um, not real happy with that, but not my house, so nothing I can do about it. It took the guy like 18 months, and it's supposed to take him three, I think, to do all this work. This used to be just a giant bank here that went out, and they've cut this out. I don't know if it's ever had a car drove down in it yet. This was going to be his garage area that, unfortunately, they have that stupid pipe in there holding up part of the house. doesn't make sense, but you can see this end of the house is just moldy as all get out. It looks really crappy. I'm going to have to rent a lift or something down here and actually come down and wash this one of these days and get this all cleaned up because you can't spray siding from underneath. Um, it'll get up underneath the siding and cause a problem. So i got to get above it and spray it back down. I might go buy some of that 30 seconds wet and forget. So I can't get that cleaned up. He's got the gutters running down here kind of off the side of this. I'm going to see if I can actually climb this bank here. This bank is really kind of off level and Jesus, I'm going to fall and break my damn neck. But it's really kind of a crappy deal. Um, this is the drain pipe coming out right here for the gutters just kind of hobbled together. Nothing really well laid out, well designed. None of the work's been done out here. These giant piles of dirt were supposed to be taken away. Um, the county talk they wanted they were going to re-slope this bank and that for him never did it so i might look into renting a backhoe skid steer or something like that one of these days and see if i can't maybe get some of that reworked um this is a little deck slash porch thing he put on here i showed you coming out that door that it's i'm gonna like i said get a guardrail and stuff on it at least it's got the dryer vent probably put a better dryer vent on it just a handful of little things that'll keep the house a little tighter in the winter for making it easier to heat all that good stuff so main thing is this giant hole right here this is so not safe. It's just a pain in the butt. So, But I've got plenty of dirt around here to do it with. I just have to do it. So this is the wood stove I was telling you about. This actually outside wood stove heats um, boiling water, pumps the water back inside. It goes through a heat exchanger in the house and heats the whole house. So it works good. This is the gas tank. For those of you who aren't familiar out in the country, you don't have a city gas hookup. You fill your tank once or twice a year, however often you need it and then it runs off it. Unfortunately, this one's settling bad. The wood's rotten out and it's drifting off to the side. So I'm gonna have to get a back in here or something to get lifted up. It's heavy as all get out. I don't think we have the equipment here to pick it up. I'll look and see if Grandpa's tractor is strong enough. And you can see down there where it's underneath where it's rotten out real bad. Get those tied back out semi-level and go from there. So again, we have a giant pile of dirt that's left over. It's not really 
good for anything, but we gotta get rid of it all of it too. And then I got my dog tied up for the moment. The um, barn down there used to have goats and stuff. You get rid of all the goats. We got a little garage here that's really not good for nothing either. They oh, I noticed he did put a new roof on it. I wonder if they did that one into the house. So anyway, um, we'll see about getting into that thing. I'll probably put a carport up. Maybe if I'm gonna be down here all winter, just doing those Menards, couple hundred dollar carports to keep my vehicle from being covered in snow all the time if I got taken to town quick and that kind of deal. So. Pretty much, um, I guess that's the whole general area. That was a goat pen. I might look and see if that's good enough to keep my dog in for a little while at least until I can figure out what I want to do with him as we get the whole thing going. Ain't that right, big boy? He's so excited. He's been in the house already once, but I got to get some more, you know, make sure it's dog proof before I let him free in there at the moment. I know Dad said there was some poison down in the basement. He's going to show me tomorrow where that's at. But that's the back of the house to give you a general idea of the whole thing. You can see kind of where the original part of the house had a weird... I think it actually even had like the flat top up there. They put the top, more of the peak up on it. It's got a lot of seams and a lot of the gutters kind of run into other gutters instead of going down. There needs to be more downspouts off the house, but oh well. Again, like I said, nothing I could do. Something they done themselves. So um, that's the septic system, brand new septic system, brand new basement. There's probably 40, 50 grand in this thing, not counting the actual, you know, the whole deal. The barn over there, the Morton building type shed, is actually my grandfather's. He put that up when he sold off his farmland, put his tractors in, and that thing's a giant mess. I'll film that later and give you guys an idea on it. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and call it a night down here at the farm, head back in town, check on my dad, make sure he's got food for the evening, and then I'll bring him down here tomorrow. So talk to you guys later. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. And sometimes you have to take care of your family, whether you want to or not.